Hi, I'm Eric Gans, and today is July the 19th, 2022. And I am in Howard County, Maryland with Mr. Dhruv Patel. And about a month or so ago, Dhruv decided to have the home energy audit done. He did so through the BGE Pepco Home Performance with Energy Star program. And today we're out here and we're finishing up some of the work that he decided to have done. And he was nice enough to take a few minutes here and answer some of my questions. So Drew, thank you very much for doing that. You're welcome. Um, I really appreciate it. Yeah. And I have three questions that I want to ask you today. Okay. Um, the first question is, what was the reason? What made you decide to get the energy audit done in the first place? So this winter was particularly harsh winter here and we felt our draft coming in in the house. And especially this bay window here, it's a pretty huge window. We have open area in the back and we have a nice dining area here. So whenever we were sitting here on the table, whether working from home or just with family here, we felt our draft coming in through the windows here. Mm -hmm. And initially we all thought that our windows weren't that good. The seals in the windows were not good enough. And I was worried that I might have to replace the windows and everything. And I was looking to get some expert advice on what needs to be done. And while searching online, I came across the BGE program. And through BGE's website, I found your contact information. So I reached out and I also found out about this whole audit program through BGE. So it was only $100. I thought uh, it's worth getting the audit done for the whole house, not just this one window where we have the problem and see where else in the house are the air leaks or inefficiencies uh, that we can uh, basically tackle. That's fantastic. And yeah, that's why I reached out. Great, that's awesome. Yeah. My second question is, is there anything that you gained from the energy audit that you didn't expect? Oh yeah, a lot. So like I said, initially, we just thought that the windows were bad, right? Or we thought that maybe we need a better heating system or something like that. Mm -hmm. But during the audit, we found out the whole, uh, how the house is built, uh, the whole physics of the airflow basically in the house. Mm -hmm. uh, when you did the blower door test, uh, we could feel the air coming in here. And that's when we figured out that the cantilever portion of this window did not have enough insulation at the bottom. When we were in the attic, when I came with you, you showed me that there was enough insulation up there. So that was causing the air to flow like the, hot uh, air that, that we were conditioning through the heating system was going from the bottom to up mm -hmm. and it was escaping through the attic mm -hmm. and it was making the cold air to rise more from the windows and everything. So thankfully I didn't have to spend thousands to change the window. It just, we needed to uh, basically fix all the insulation issues that we had in the house. So I learned a lot about how the house is built, mm -hmm. how all the houses need to have more insulation into which particular areas where the air seals need to be. Yes, yes. So I think it was a lot more I got from spending just a hundred bucks mm -hmm. on the audit program. Mm -hmm. And after in your audit report, you basically laid out the scope of work, what exactly we needed to get done, where in which area of the house and how much it would cost and everything. Mm -hmm. And obviously it's no obligation, so we decided to do a few things first and a few things after as the budget allows and everything. And so yeah, it was a great experience, learned a lot, and I think it's worthwhile. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah. So my third question, which kind of ties to some of the things you just said, what work did you end up deciding to do and why? So basically well, during the audit, we found out that our upstairs air conditioning system, the ducting system was not efficient at all. There was lots of leaks in the system upstairs and also there's some of the ducts were able to lose. So when we were sleeping upstairs, we found it took really long time to get the upstairs portion of the house get cooled or heated in the winter. Mm -hmm. uh, so that was, I think, the most important thing to get done first. Yes. And also we decided to go with it because of obviously that was a huge portion that BG was giving us the credit in the in the rebate program mm -hmm. so it was i think more economical it made more sense to yeah. go with it uh, the second was obviously this windows here we spent most of our time here working from home mm -hmm. and this window here we like to stand by the window to see the view outside but it gets really freezing in winter here so we wanted to get the insulation done here and uh while we were getting this done we found out that during the 
audience, we found out that some of the fans upstairs were not working in the bathroom, the ventilation fans. And that was causing a lot of uh, mold in the bathroom or in the attic. It, I mean, it wasn't causing right now, but it could cause in the future. So we wanted to fix that proactively before it causes any issues. So we got the fans replaced. And now I think the only thing left for us to do is seal the attic and insulate it which we plan to get done before winter begins or something. So thanks again, Drew, so much for taking the time today to, to do this with me. And um, I just wanted to uh, use this as an opportunity just to try to show others that an energy audit is really designed to be a fact-finding type of um, appointment. It's designed to find the things around your house that are wrong, that are really going to move the needle when it comes to comfort and help you prioritize the things that need to be done to set yourself on a pathway towards, again, better comfort and also energy savings.